All right, let's continue with the entry methods section of M7 metric settings. This is where you can define your entry method that you are trading or backtesting. So let's get started. First things first, head over to the settings and click on entry methods. Let's say you have watched all of my free content on YouTube and know the basics of the DRIDR trading strategy and you felt in love with the retirement setup. Simply click on the plus button and input the name and description of your entry method, in this case retirement setup, and in the description field you can give your entry method a detailed description and finally create it. Remember, M7 Metrics is designed to work seamlessly with any trading strategy you can think of. You have the freedom to customize it to your heart's content, providing you with the best journaling experience out there and it's all for free. Now you might be wondering, can you select more than one entry method? The answer is no. You can create as many entry methods as you like, but for each trade there's only one entry method that comes into play. Everything else becomes a confluence for the trade. Let's say your strategy is based on the retirement setup, then that's your entry method. If there are additional factors on the chart, like a previous DR, IDR level aligning or a volume imbalance supporting the trade idea, then those become extra confluences for the trade. Similarly, if you trade based on the ICT silver bullet, for example, then that's your entry method. Any additional factors supporting your trading idea become extra confluences. You can create as many entry methods as you like. And there you have it. That's the entry methods section of M7 Metrics. Stay tuned as we continue our journey together.